Heyo guys, it's Gwen from Gwen Talks, and today I'm going to talk to you about Diablo 3. So Diablo 3 is a super fun game, I've really enjoyed my time I've spent playing with it. It's one of those games where I can't say it's my favorite, but I can't say I hate it. The main reason I would say I enjoy it is just because of it being a dungeon crawler. The main reason I would say I dislike it is because it is limited. It's a dungeon crawler where you are the hero and throughout the way you get to fight the Lords of Hell. Your whole mission as you find out later is to destroy the Lords of Hell and to set, bring peace to the world. Your mission is to bring peace to the world by conquering the Lords of Hell. So you start off this game being weak and measly and having pretty much no skill at all and all you know is that you're in town to investigate this falling star that came from the heavens. So after that guys you realize you have a greater problem at hand and that's where you come into it. You are the dungeoneer, you are the one off set to destroy all enemies that give you havoc. So the reason I do enjoy Diablo 3 is it because it has a couple of my favorite things in it. It has crafting which I really really enjoy. Um, growing up any game that had crafting is something I did a lot of. Second off, you have the ability to customize what gear you wear. So there's many different builds throughout the game that you can run, and there's many different classes that you can run. So as an option, you guys have six classes to pick from. Each one has a primary stat that builds their damage. So I'll go over those really quickly. The first two that are primarily affected by strength is the Berserker and the Crusader. Both of these classes excel at close quarter combat and are high health and high damage. The second classes, the classes that focus on dexterity would be which? So the classes that focus on dexterity are the demon hunter and the monk. Monk is a close quarters class much like the berserkers but has the ability to dodge and hit high damage. The Demon Hunter is by far my favorite class in the game, which is pretty much the range damage dealer of the whole game. You can argue and say it's not the primary damage dealer, but it's obviously my favorite because I can sit back, have a companion, set up a couple turrets, and just wait for everything else to die. The next classes, the two that work primarily off of intelligence, is the Witch Doctor and the Wizard. The Witch Doctor is a necromancer by trade and does massive damage through the hordes that he commands. The Wizard on the on the other hand, does massive damage with AoE effects and crowd control, but the only disadvantage of the wizard is how much, how little health they have. The major disadvantage about the wizard is how little health they have. So Diablo 3 has many options for many players. You can do PvP, you can do PvE. And one of my favorite things to do is just to go through the story because I'm a big story person. And the good thing about Diablo 3 is they have different difficulty scales. You can go and do it on an easy mode if you want to start off with, or you can start off with a hardcore mode. And every time you beat the game, you have an option of another mode, and it goes all the way up until Inferno. And then after that, it has a difficulty scale named Torment. Each Torment level has a different varying difficulty scale. So Torment changes the health that the mobs have and also the drop rate of items that you will get. Diablo 3 is by far an amazing game to play through, but I'm going to tell you why it doesn't make my top list of games to play. This is primarily because... It's so repetitive. Yes, I understand that it's a dungeon crawler and there's only so much that the game can provide. So for me, I can't go through and do the same levels over and over again. While the difficulty may change, the underlining whole purpose of it all does not change. So while you may be fighting a higher tier boss, you're still doing the exact same thing that you were doing one difficulty ago. And that's the reason why I don't particularly play this game as much as I used to. Another limiting factor in this game for me is character customization. You have absolutely none. While I did say you can change your builds, that is true, but you can't change how your character looks besides other than dyeing their armor, which to me isn't really that much of a customization thing. It's sort of a luxury. So overall, do I think this game is a great game to play? Yes, but will I be playing it anytime soon? 
No, not at all, because I just got to the point where even with the expansion Reapers of Souls, there's nothing really drawing me to the game, because all I know is that I'm going to beat the game on one difficulty and go right to the next, and it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. So yes, I do love this game, but no, I do not call it my top game. Would I recommend a new player to play it? Yes, I would say enjoy it for the first little bit, but see that you're not really going to be doing too much after it, unless you get into the PvP side of it all, which is almost non-existent now. So also guys, for Diablo 3, there is an expansion called Reapers of Souls, which gives you access to that sixth class I mentioned earlier, the Crusader. So Crusader originally was not part of the game, but it became p available after the expansion. And the expansion was there to sort of widen the story, to give players more opportunities to play new things. And it did. So with the expansion became new craftable items, new difficulties, and then also it came with a system called the Paragon System, which is what you level after you've meet, reached max level in the game. So this game does have progression, but overall, I would say that there's not enough to keep players going. So guys, let me know what you thought about Diablo 3. Have you played the game? What was your favorite and least favorite thing about it? And also guys, let me know what type of games you want me to play. I have some good news for you guys. Next week, I will be doing my review of Dark Souls 2. It was a game that was requested by a lot of people. They wanted me to play Dark Souls, and so I did the game and you'll find out what my review is next week so guys as always may your days be good